And I think United Way did an excellent thing when they created those impact community visioning councils. And they created them out of people out of the community so that they could see what was going on in the community, they could see what was needed. And what I love about United Way is as we've moved to the community impact model, it's adapting to the changing needs of our community. You draw your sword, and this is an original. It has a groove here, what they call a bleeder, so when you stick somebody with this, it'll let air in so you can pull the sword back out. One thing people always love about this postcard is you can see some of the businesses, and one of them is the famous breadstone nuts. <laughs> And in Africa alone, crocodiles eat a thousand people every year. In Southeast Asia, they eat about 250 more people. It all adds up to about 12,500 people every decade, swallowed, digested, and excreted by crocodiles. But not excreted entirely. For human beings, as you know, wear all sorts of jewelry, baubles, wristwatches, necklaces, eyeglasses. And all this stuff goes into the crocodile's intestines where it collects. And so just like a pigeon who eats stones to help it digest its prey, the crocodile keeps uh, all of this material inside its intestines to help it digest its food. If your friend, for instance, has been eaten by a crocodile, and you are eaten by a crocodile next year, your friend has actually helped digest you. The crocodile has the most powerful jaw strength of any animal in the world. You have about 124 pounds of jaw pressure. An African lion, 450 pounds. Crocodile has 2,100 pounds of jaw strength. Now there's only one thing you have to remember if you should ever happen to fall in crocodile infested waters, and that is to get out. <laughs> but you must get out very quietly. Whatever you do, do not splash. Because if you splash, this may be what happens to you. It's the freshest, hottest, greatest tasting pizza in Wilmington. Slice of Life Pizzeria and Pub. They've been voted best pizza and best late night eatery every year since 2005 by Encore Magazine. More than just award winning pizza, Slice of Life features a full service bar with the largest tequila selection in town. Open seven days a week, 11.30 a.m. until 3 a.m. in the morning. Slice of Life Pizzeria and Pub with three locations to serve you or find them online at grabslice.com. This is a coat that I wore through my, most of my reenacting career. In the collar, one star was a major, three stars is a full colonel. If you look at the two buttons at the top of the neck and see how they go down to a V, it looks like a bird's breast. And this was a bird's breast frock coat. On the sleeves, you'll see the red, which gives the branch of the service as well as the collar as red of artillery. The gold bars or bands signify the rank. One would be a lieutenant, two would be a captain, three would be a colonel would be a general. Confederate officers could make their own uniforms as long as they had the rank on the collar, the rank on the sleeve, and the right color for the branch of service. And they would use these to get a closer view. So they'd have a cover like this. And this would be your field glasses. Now they have sunscreens that pu push out this way. So when you're looking through your glasses, the sun will not show throw a shadow. You can see better down the field. By noon January 15th, another 2,000 sailors and Marines had landed. The Confederates, with fewer than 2,000 men, put up a gallant fight, but were finally overcome. Fort Fisher, the Gibraltar of America, the Malakoff Tower of the South, had fallen. With the collapse of Fort Fisher, blockade running into the Cape Fear River ceased, and the fate of Wilmington was sealed. The South's last major port of entry had been eliminated, and the days of the Confederacy were numbered. Have you ever been to a website, had deja vu, or thought it looked suspiciously similar to another site you've been to before? Have you ever been to a website and had deja vu, or thought it looked suspiciously similar to another site you've been to before? That's because that site was probably built from a template. 
At Impact Media, we can create a site that includes all the features you feel are necessary for your company's needs. It will also be unique to any other destination on the web. You're an original company, why wouldn't you have an original design? This will help you stand out from your competition and, believe it or not, it also makes it easier for your company to be found by search engines. Hieronymus Seafood and Oyster Bar, voted best seafood restaurant in Wilmington by Encore Magazine readers. Here is where you can count on the freshest local seafood daily. Served with fresh herbs, selected from their own garden. Enjoy daily chalkboard drink specials in the cocktail lounge. Choose to eat in the Oyster Bar for freshly steamed oysters or crab legs. Or you can dine family style in the comfortable and spacious dining room. Seasonal catch from local waters is always on the menu at Hieronymus Seafood, where fresh is best. Make it a day of play for you and the family at the North Carolina Aquarium at Fort Fisher. Discover more fun than you can imagine on a wild, aquatic journey among natural habitats and stunning exhibits. You can expect close encounters along the way. Meet a rare albino alligator named Luna. Get eye to eye with a sea turtle. Talk to underwater divers swimming with sharks, eels, and schooling fish. Take time together to watch jellyfish dance and stand in the jaws of the massive extinct shark, Megalodon. Find out what sea stars, stingrays, and horseshoe crabs feel like. You can even touch a shark. Kids love to jump, climb, and spin in the outdoor play area Adventure Reef. And don't miss your chance to hunt for ancient fossils in Shark Tooth Creek. You're invited to the free daily programs with your aquarium admission, including dive shows and live animal feedings. You can see more and do more together at the North Carolina Aquarium at Fort Fisher, open 9 to 5 daily. The aquarium's only a short drive south from Wilmington in Curry Beach. A couple of years ago we decided in honour of the Civil War sesquicentennial to um, conserve some of our flags and some of our most treasured historic collection. So there's this second national flag that flew over Fort Fisher with a very large 34 star US flag from the era and Major General Whiting's uniform. So we conserved those and then we said, well, if we're going to make them you know, look good and be in good condition, let's display them while we have the chance. We came up with this idea of fragments of war because the stories of the things that we have are either fragments or the items are literally fragments themselves. It's a little taste of Mexico right here in Wilmington. La Costa Mexican Restaurant. Start off the night with La Casa Rita or one of their delicious icy cold drinks. Then dig in for delicious La Costa specialties like arroz con pollo, carne asada, seafood molcajite, and fajitas. La Costa Mexican Restaurant with three locations in Porter's Neck, Market Street, and Oleander.